Hi everybody, it's Sarah. Um, I want to talk to you today about, I'm listening to The Slight Edge again. I've listened to it about a hundred million times by Jeff Olson. He's amazing and he teaches us or reminds us that every single thing we do in life is just a decision, just a choice. And every little choice that we make can change the complete path of our entire life. So make conscious choices. It's easier, it's easy to just say. But what I want to challenge you all today to do is actually do it. Make conscious choices. Hi Angela, good to see you. Every single time you do anything. For me, it's um, food choices. Food choices. All you have to do is make a conscious decision every time you choose food. Hi Mary Rose, good to see you. Every single time. Hi Denise, I'm excited that you popped on. But making a conscious choice. In this day and age, we eat out more than any other generation ever, ever has. We eat out all the time. It's quicker, we don't have time to come home and make all the meals that um, all of our other ancestors did. So here's the deal. You have to make a conscious choice when you eat out this much. This is what I tell my kids. Like, I don't say you can't have french fries every single time, but make a conscious choice. What if we accidentally ate out five nights that week and you feel like, just because you're eating out, you should be able to get french fries. No, it's not true. Make a conscious choice every time you choose food. Uh, when I go out to eat, I or usually order stuff that's not even on the menu. I just say, could I get a grilled chicken or a grilled fish with some steamed vegetables with no butter? I ask for it and I'll, I don't think I've ever had anyone turn me down. It doesn't matter if it's not on the menu. Why do we need to make conscious choices about food? Because our health depends on it. Yesterday, one of my good friends stopped in my office and we chatted and we had the best time and we just caught up because I don't get to see her very often. And you know what? She and her husband um, are very fit and very healthy and she's in her 50s and she just went to her doctor and she had the most incredible labs. Her blood work was amazing. Her cholesterol was so incredible that her doctor said to her, I wish I had your blood work. I wish I had <laughs> what you have. And this is her actual doctor. That is a really cool compliment to get when you're in your 50s. Um, and all it's taking for them, my friend and her husband, is making a conscious choice every single time they choose food. And it goes beyond food though. It's the slight edge man, um, and I always think of him all the time now whenever I make any sort of decision, what would the slight edge guy do? Uh, he says everything is easy. It's super easy to just lay in bed and not get up and exercise, but it's also easy to get up and exercise. And it's just that moment, that conscious decision that you make to either do it that day or not do it that day. And is getting up in the morning and working out and eating good going to make you lose 50 pounds by tomorrow? Absolutely not. That is not the way it works. The way success happens is small consistent steps every single day. That's how you're gonna see results. I have people in my challenge groups and if they only lost three pounds in a week, I praise that. I'm like, can you imagine? Multiply that times 52 weeks. Of course, they're not gonna lose that much weight because it would be unhealthy. But my point is this, be proud of losing three pounds in one week, and then what's gonna happen the next week? What if you lost three more pounds the next week? Or what if you only lost one pound a week, but you did it for 52 weeks? That's 52 pounds. Guys, we have to give up on the notion that we get instant everything. This generation is packed filled with people who think if it doesn't happen right now, then it's never gonna happen. I like to try to help people change their lifestyle completely. If you have wake up in the morning and you have a great day and you exercise and you eat clean and you eat good portions and you only put what's fuel in your body, then you're gonna have a great day. And then you start all over again the next day. Small consistent steps, conscious choices every single day. Of course we're gonna mess up, but don't beat yourself up about it. We all make mistakes, <clears throat> but what about if you imagine what you're gonna be like a year from now, if you decided right now, draw that line in the sand and say, as of this day and this moment right now, I'm gonna make smart, smart, conscious choices about what I eat and how I live my life in all ways. 
listen to people and lift people higher and compliment everyone. So I challenge you today to start making conscious choices because we are going into the winter season. We, I live in Minnesota. This could be a time where we could pack on the pounds. We could stop exercising. We could wear sweats, uh, big sweatshirts, and we hide all of our winter, what would you call it, flub, which is fine if you want to do it that way. But for me and for my team and my tribe, what are we going to do? We're going to secretly work out in our homes and hopefully not gain that winter flub and then we're going to come out at the other end when spring and summer comes and we're going to feel really good about ourselves. So um, that's my challenge for you today. Make smart conscious choices every single time you choose food and every single time you make a decision. Your life changes every single day and with every little decision. So if you don't like where you are right now, change it. Change it right now. You are the only one. You are 100% responsible for your life. 100%. Stop blaming and living in the past and regretting and feeling bad about something that happened to you. Guess what, everybody? We all have horrific, horrible things happen to us. But it's how we react to that that changes our life. So do that. React in a positive way, no matter what. Make smart, conscious choices. Try to be healthy. Try to get your blood work to be rock star amazing so that when you're 55 or however old you are, you can go to the doctor and they envy you because your blood work is amazing because you eat whole foods and you make smart conscious choices and you don't eat stuff out of a box that's got so many preservatives in it, it's going to last longer than we do on this earth. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Make smart, conscious choices. Every time you make a decision, make a slight edge decision. And every time you put food in your mouth, make sure it's fuel. Think about like little, what would you put in a 15 month old, your brand new baby or your brand new little 15 month old. Would you ever put junk in their little system? No, never. Keep the sugar away from your kids. They don't need it. Um, anyway, I could go on with this for hours. So. Make smart conscious choices and whatever you do, look at everything in a positive light and choose to have your best day ever.